Titan is Saturn's largest moons and a moon with a very thick atmosphere where it rains methane, there are methane lakes on the surface, mountains made of ice, and Titan seems to have organic molecules on its surface. Even though the Cassini spacecraft was at Saturn, it doesn't have the same kind of optics, same infrared capabilities that the James Webb Space Telescope does. And so these images coming from James Webb are able to see through the haze surrounding Titan and reveal some of the surface structures. You can see some of the northern region called the Kraken Mare. And so with continued observations from James Webb, we'll get a much better idea of the geologic features on the surface of Titan. And this is perfect because NASA is sending a nuclear powered helicopter to the surface of Titan in the next decade. Now we'll know where to look. So when asteroids pass in front of stars, you get this perfect opportunity to learn more about the asteroid itself. And in this case, James Webb was able to participate in an occultation of the asteroid called Charlico. And astronomers know that this asteroid has rings. As the asteroid passed in front of the star, Webb was able to make really accurate measurements of the rings to watch the dips in brightness as each one of the rings passed in front of the star. And of course, last year, we had the DART mission, the double asteroid redirection test where a spacecraft was slammed into asteroid Dimorphos, which is a moon of Didymus. 